All right, well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Day two of our adventure. We're into day three, technically, of the trail. Um, but as you know, we skipped first day portion of the trail to make it easier. Uh, today we'll be rolling into Tonopah and then possibly destination of Austin, but I don't know if we'll make it that far today. Um, we'll see. But, uh, wind wasn't too bad. It died down probably 11 o'clock. I mean, there's still a little bit of a breeze, but it was definitely uh, very windy when we first got in the trailer last night. Uh, but we do have some nice views. Obstructed a little bit by uh, the trees, but I guess we'll see snow-capped mountains over there a little bit. And uh, some nice rolling hills this way. Pretty nice, pretty nice out. Uh, probably get the kids up here in a few. See what they want to eat. And then get everything packed up. And on our way for the day. Welcome to the Kramer Family Adventures, where we travel here, there, and everywhere. As you can hear in the background, tearing up the tires, uh, going back on pavement for a little bit. Um, so it's just going to be nicer to get them all aired up. Uh, be easier pulling on the road. Um, we're going to try this out. Keep an eye on it. But I laid the solar panel, strapped it up. So this trailer. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the connection I had from the truck to the trailer for a charge, uh, but it seems that the truck is actually taking the charge from the battery <laughs> and uh, trying to charge up the main battery. So not sure uh, what's going on with that exactly. I'll have to troubleshoot that. Probably can figure it out. Uh, it worked originally. This is something new started, so who knows? So still want to be able to charge the battery up on the trailer because it's uh, probably like 50%. Um, uh, yeah, just getting the bat er, airs, airs. tires aired up, and then we'll, we'll be back to yeah. going down the way. not be on dirt or whatever on the pavement but still uh, pretty cool to see the vastness of Nevada kind of getting into still southern but more cent towards central uh, I forgot that we'll be going to Goldfield first so we're gonna stop there and check a few things out before we start making our way
All right, so just drove through Goldfield. Pretty cool little historic town. Um, the Goldfield Hotel, which is haunted. Uh, I saw signs posted of this for sale and also looking for renovations. So I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, I've heard they've tried to do that in the past and uh, the workers get too freaked out by things that happen. Um, a nice little mining town, still operational. A lot of mines still uh, being utilized in the town. Uh, I remember when we were back in Rhyolite, I just, uh, the guy that was there said some of the smaller claims were getting bought out by a bigger corporation to be run. Uh, I forget what he said the name of it was, because uh, they know there's still a lot of gold in the mountains um, that they want to try to get out. Uh, but we didn't stick around too long. Uh, we're gonna keep, try to keep moving a little bit today. And in all reality, it didn't look like too much was open on a Tuesday morning at 9.50. Uh, so, we're back on the highway. Uh, gonna make our way up to Tonopah area. Tonopah. Was this from and people? Was this from people that lived in? Was this from the people that lived in Mozada a long, long time ago? Yeah. In uh, in Tonopah. So this is probably a lot of mining stuff. So we're at the Central Nevada Museum. So I guess that means we're in Central Nevada now officially. Got some artwork pieces outside to include some old mining equipment. Look, there's little buildings over there. Like a little mining town. Oh. That's pretty cool, huh? Is it broken or something? Is it what's broken? Yeah, it probably doesn't look looks like it's all rusted up, so it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, maybe, huh? Whoa, can I go in these buildings? Um, I don't think so. They Let's look, look like they in. got. Let's look in the buildings. They got locks on them. Oh. We can go up and look in the windows, though. I'm gonna go up and look okay, in the Okay, stay on the path. There we go. What do you see in there? Anything? This is a store. A store? I don't know if we can see in there very well. Lots of bottles. J.C. Penney Company store here in 1935. Mm-hmm. These are different this pictures of gold. Little town? 
Yeah, yeah this is Goldfield where we drove through earlier. Yeah, the hustle right and bustle, and now it's, it's like, not much I there. <coughs> right here. Back in the day, and this is Tonopah. Look at all these tent houses. Wait, wait. Daddy? Hmm. Daddy, come here. Whatever song they wanted. <gasps> Do you know what this is, Eggsy? The first time they wanted that to be the Statue of Liberty. Oh, yeah? Do you know what that thing is? Do you know what this is? Um, no. It's called a switchboard. switchboard. Whenever you made a phone call, you called the operator. Oh. And then they would plug your line to where you needed to make a phone call to. Oh, to the Statue of Liberty? I mean, I guess if you wanted to call the Statue of Liberty. The Statue if you needed of Liberty. to call your uncle or something. Ooh, the post office. Ooh, so. post office. Yeah. Ooh, 33 states of America. Get it? No, I don't get it. And so it can move. It doesn't have swings where it can move. All right, so definitely a cool little spot here uh, at the Central Nevada Museum. It's free. They do accept some donations, they said, so do that. But cool little history of uh, Central Nevada. Especially when you get into the mining. Uh, these things back here are actually part of Air Force stuff. Uh, what? We're back on the here? far end of the test range. So definitely a worth spot to come check out. If you're ever in town. Daddy stepped on a stick All right. and that stick hurt me. Eggsy, do you want to go check out that mining place? I think they have a tunnel you can go in. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, we're going to go check out uh, something mining company. I forget what it's called. We'll go check it out. You'll find out in a second. What's this place called again? Tonopah Mining Park. Why is there an eye Historic on that mountain? Historic Tonopah Mining Park. Daddy! Like, what's up? Why is there an eye on that mountain? It's a T for Tonopah. Tonopah. I know it kind of looks like an eye. Because it looks like some of the rocks fell. But it's a T. Oh, it comes, so, it comes, went up into the visitor center, paid our little fee, got us a map, and uh, we're gonna go explore. She says 100 plus acres, 103 acres or something like that. 150. 150. Then how Maybe 150 fish, acres total. How far are it away? But we're only gonna explore a little bit of it walking around. Um, wow, yeah. So we have. Does this lead to it? Yeah, she said this leads to this little bridge up here. And then we can look straight down into one of the original, we'll call it original holes in the ground. Original? Yeah. And then uh, we can look straight down. Okay, I'm scared. You're scared? Don't do that. Look, at, you can see, look at, you can see the wood down there where they used to have little platforms and stuff. Oh! To go down in there. This is the Stope Bridge. We go inside. We go inside. Way down in there. 
We go inside us. We go inside us. We go inside us. Story of we. All right. So this is the bridge we were on here. The mine shaft is probably that thing way over there, and they go down, and then they get to different levels and mine out stuff. So vertical silver vein or lots of money. What? There's uh -oh. money in there? I didn't know there was money. Maybe they're in testing there. the emergency <laughs> response system. I don't know what that siren means. Um, I think if we were in the it Midwest, it would mean a tornado. But I blue. see nothing but blue clear skies. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a mining thing. <laughs> Maybe it's about the money. Maybe it is about the money. All right. So we are going to go check out, what's it called? Burrow Tunnel. Burrow Tunnel. Because that's Burrow what tunnel. Eggsy it's wanted to check out. The only thing she wanted to do while we were here. All right. Is that it there? The burrow tunnel. <gasps> Look. What? The hoist men? Oh yeah, what I think that hoists the guys up and down. And their tools. In there and then it drops down. Alright, we're going in the tunnel now. Magazine. Magazine. Magazine explosives dangerous. What it says, but I think that's just for what it used to be. Burrow Tunnel, the land of underground, 200 miles of it. What? No. It says at the end, there's a steel cage and you can look down 500 feet deep into the mine. Cool. Holy cow. Cool. Good thing Eggsy's scared of heights. Uh, let's see. It says there's... Uh, so this was built in 2000 to help show stuff off. So this is estimated 46 miles of horizontal tunnels mined at different levels in the Desert Queen, Silvertop, and Mizpah mines alone. It was extracted from hundreds of miles of underground tunnels throughout the Tonopah Mining District. That one lady at the mu other museum said that there's holes all over the mine is all underneath the ground of town. Burrow tunnel. I can't see. Can't see. Did we bring a flashlight? I got a phone. Oh, this is not even that far. We can flashlight. see. In, in my pack there's a flashlight, but you didn't put batteries in uh, that. Oh. Now we have some light. I think this is just a your shoes light up. When I walk. Oh, nice. I thought there's 200 miles. No, just a total like tunnels. We're not gonna walk 200 miles. Holy cow, we'd be back in Las Vegas. What the? Hey, a pigeon. How do you pigeon? Oh, you can those? see. What the? Oh. Hey. Hello. We can see, see their barbed wire and stuff. That's the bridge and... we go on. Went on. Yeah, huh? I don't see the bridge, but it oh, says if you, up. it's 500 that? feet straight down. 500 feet straight down. I can see. It's hard to see. Well, I can't. Oh the no! <laughs> I actually started going like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of heights. You're scared of heights. I'm not going down there. Okay. It's a good day. It's a good day. Alright, after our intense climb, we're all hot now. I think this was one of the buildings we could go in. Maybe. It's the red house. We, we were far away from it. Yeah. There's Hooks up to the mine shaft. No, I'm sure it has a sign on it. Well, they have that on it, which means that they don't want you climbing up there. They don't want to risk you falling off. Yeah. Well, they don't have that on there, and then they can climb up the ladder. 
the stairs. Yeah, you can. All right, go in. This door's enormous, heavy. Keeping it, up. keeping it closed so the pigeons don't go in here. She said. Whoa! Look at all this. What's worked all the with the motor house thing? With all the belts and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we can touch anything. Yeah, that's what she said, huh? We can? Touch? We can touch anything? Yeah, we just still need to be careful. Oh, how do you... Pick it up with two hands. Pick it up, muscles. Is it heavy? That's the wrenches that they use to get these things going. Oh! Alright, set it back down. Gently. Too hard. Yeah. This one's that one's small, yeah, for eggsy size. It's red. All the buildings are red. All right, so we're going to number nine, carpenter shed. Nine, nothing. Nine over here is supposed to be the carpenter shed, where supposedly we can touch stuff inside. You might have to turn the handle. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, hold it. So it doesn't. Oh, spring. Oh, spring. You keep it close. You can find tools. Oh, there's all kinds of tools in here. You can find. Someone used to live here. I don't think so. I think they're the ones that maybe help get it put back together. All kinds of wrenches and spikes and shovels. Oh, be careful, you don't hit your sister in the head. That's the same as the red house. Yeah. Well, the other building? Pretty right for wrenches. Oh, can we touch that? And then this is a miner's tent. Well, we can't. This is a kind of tent they would stay in, the miners. They have like a little temporary house kind of thing. They got a bed and a little table and chair and stuff. What the bed is that? It'll be hard. Look at this pickup truck. Like Lolo Chucks, but Like younger. Lolo Chucks, but younger. Oh. Uh, older. Eight! Oh, well, there's a lock on that door. You're not going to be able to go in there. This is the company storehouse. Nope, can't go in there. Oh, there's fluids in there. Fluids? Or something like that. Fluids. Let me see in this window and see what our fluids are. Fluids. Oh, flammable liquids. Oh, flammable liquids. Oh, that's why. Oh, I bet that's just a storage place where they had like nitro or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we had fun at the mining park. Topped off on fuel, got a snack, because you know, we just ate, we need a snack still. Um, now we're headed back out of Tonopah. Um, we're skipping a little bit that goes through the mining area. Um, just really don't feel like going that way. Uh, so we're gonna go on the highway around and catch back up with it on the east side of Tonopah. Literally can't get my directionals right in my head. Um, yeah, and from there we'll pick it back up on the dirt, get back off road, and I think Austin is our next town. I'm not sure if we'll make it there today, um, but still head that way we do have there are some camping areas that I saw on the map um, that are prior to Austin so if they're decent and no one's there we'll probably just stop before we get there and uh, camp there all right so not too long but we're back on the VDR uh, it's paved road at the moment so we're just kind of riding it along 
Uh, I know it's going to turn not paved up here somewhere as we go back across the mountain range, back towards the highway that we were originally on. Um, I think it's Highway 376, 316, I don't know, one of those numbers. I know there's a three and a six and I forget what the middle one is. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of cruising along here on the pavement for the moment. Uh, waiting for the rock to pick up. Um, to head back across the mountain range. To then head, I don't even know if we, if we drive back on that highway, it's not for very long. And then we're back off and into the mountain range on the other side. That eventually would take us into Austin. Uh, like I said earlier, not sure if we'll make it to Austin today or not. Because technically this leg is from Tonopah to Austin. Um, and we were south of Tonopah a little bit this morning. Probably could make it because we made it pretty far into the leg of the next day. Um, so we'll just see. Not sure what kind of terrain we're going to run into coming across the mountains. I don't know if we can pick it up on camera or not. And there's some antelope that were along the road. Two. There's three all together. Uh, looks like a mama and two babies. Oh, out I there. Didn't, I didn't I didn't see it on your baby. Mm. Straight up. Officially made it back to non-pavement, uh, even though this is a pretty well-maintained road, so I'm gonna have to go that slow on it. For now, hopefully it stays like this for a while, which makes it a little uh, easier going on the road and on the back and the body as we move around. But we're not too far from the actual road road that we were on. Yeah. So, we could always jump back over somewhere along here if we needed to. But just out here and enjoying the views of uh, the National Forest. Toyabi, or I think is how you say it. I don't know, I'm terrible with pronunciation. But maybe it'll get corrected somewhere or I'll figure it out.
up everyone? That's what Jacob said. What's up everyone? All right, so we went through the town uh, or village, according to the sign out by the road, of Kingston, Nevada. Actually pretty nice, a lot of little houses here, there, and everywhere in here. Looks like some old uh, mining stuff over there. Shocker, mining town uh, that's still around, but it says the gateway to the toy Toyobis. I still don't know how to say it. Uh, but we're going through here. Supposedly there is a lake and maybe some, uh, a campgrounds or two out here. Um, so try to see if one of these campgrounds has any space. So we're not running so late again to uh, find a camp spot at night. He sees here. us. Right over there. That tail flickering. Mm. Oh, Not sure if the camera's catching it, but we made it to the top. Now we're headed down the other side. And uh, it's pretty freaking steep so far, but I'm just taking her slow. Once we make this next turn, I think it will uh, start to level out based on what I can tell from the map. We shall see. All right, guys. Well, we made it to camp safely. Um, definitely, I need to put these on since it's bright my eyes. Uh, definitely had some sketch moments uh, when a sign says trailers beyond this point, not recommended. Probably should follow that. We made it though. Definitely yeah, a few sketch moments, but we made it. I think the fact that we have a little bit shorter vehicle, a little bit shorter trailer, definitely would have made it. Anything longer, not gonna make it, for sure. There's some very, very hairpin turns that are along that portion of the trail from Kingston to here. We are now at the Big Creek Campground. It's gonna be nice because we have a backed right up against the creek so we'll have that nice rushing water all night so it shouldn't be too bad it's a free campground uh, there are some vault toilets so whatever it's actually the last spot there's only a handful of spots here um, yeah so end of day two definitely had some sketch moments definitely need to look over the map even more detailed than I had I uh, didn't have any issues as far as any breakdowns of anything, like tires yesterday. But, yeah. Just trying to relax now with a little bit. It says a half an hour, but 
I think we might have a little bit more than that of sunshine. Um, yeah, relax, make some dinner, go to bed, and get day three started tomorrow. Probably like another 30, 45 minutes-ish up to Austin. And then north from there to Ely, I think. Not sure what's in between, but I'll definitely be looking a little closer over the maps tonight. Make sure there's nothing that I think is sketchier than we've already done. Uh, thanks for joining along. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff if you want. And then stay tuned for the next video for day three of uh, our tour of the Nevada Backcountry Discovery Route.